Today, we're going to go over the operational workflow of AWS Marketplace Private Offers. We're going to cover what are AWS Marketplace Private Offers, the Private Offers Operational Process, the Private Offers Transactional Process, Invoicing, Reporting, and Disbursement Cycles, and then we'll wrap up with Key Takeaways and FAQs. To start, let's go over important acronyms related to this program. AMMP, or AMP, stands for AWS Marketplace Management Portal. ISV stands for Independent Software Vendor. They are one of the many types of partners in the AWS Partner Network, and as such, are the most common to list in AWS Marketplace. In this presentation, when we refer to AWS Partners or Sellers, we are referring to an ISV. And MPPO stands for AWS Marketplace Private Offers. What are AWS Marketplace Private Offers? The AWS Marketplace Private Offers feature enables AWS customers to receive product pricing from a partner that isn't publicly available. AWS customers negotiate pricing and terms with the seller, and the partner creates a private offer for the AWS account that the customer designates. The customer accepts the private offer and starts receiving the negotiated price and terms of use. Each private offer has pricing and licensing terms specifically offered to the customer's account, as well as a set expiration date. It should be noted that if the customer does not accept the private offer by the expiration date, the offer will no longer be available, and the partner will either have to extend the offer expiration date for it to be available again, or the partner will have to create a new offer. Now, we'll go over the product types that are supported by AWS Marketplace private offers. First is SaaS Contract. With a Software as a Service, or SaaS Contract, buyers can commit to upfront payment for their expected usage of the SaaS product or negotiate a flexible payment schedule with the ISV. Standard contract durations are one month, one year, two years, or three years. There is also a feature that allows custom contract creation for any number of months up to five years. If the buyer commits to an upfront payment, they are billed in advance for the use of the product software. If the ISV offers a flexible payment schedule, the buyer is billed along the payment schedule dates at the amounts listed on the private offer. The NetApp SaaS Backup from Microsoft Office 365 is a good example of a SaaS contract product listed in AWS Marketplace. As you can see, the fulfillment method for this product is SaaS, and the product offers a 12-month contract duration for an upfront payment of $45 per user. Next is SaaS contract with subscription. SaaS contract with pay-as-you-go pricing is the same as a SaaS contract, but with negotiated pricing for usage beyond what the buyer has negotiated in their contract. An example is the Trend Micro Deep Security as a Service. The product offers a contract of one month, 12 months, 24 months, and 36 months for an upfront payment, and any additional usage is billed by the hour as depicted in the hourly rate table. Now, we'll look at SaaS subscriptions. With a SaaS subscription, the buyer agrees to a price for use of a product. The ISV tracks and reports the buyer's usage to AWS Marketplace, and they are billed for what they use. Trend Micro Deep Security is an example of such a product. It does not have any upfront contract commitment and has a pricing table with an hourly rate. Next is AMI Hourly. With Amazon Machine Image, or AMI Hourly, the buyer and ISV negotiate an hourly rate for using an AMI, rounded up to the nearest hour. The Palo Alto Network's VM300 Bundle 2 is an example of an AMI hourly product. Similar to SaaS subscriptions, it also has a pricing table with an hourly rate. And finally, we have AMI Annual. With AMI Annual, the buyer negotiates the hourly and total contract duration prices with upfront payment or flexible payment schedule over any custom contract duration of up to three years and specified number of licenses for the AMI. If the buyer commits to an upfront payment, they are billed in advance for the use of the AMI. If the ISV offers a flexible payment schedule, the buyer is billed along the payment schedule dates at the amounts listed on the private offer. Usually, AMI annual products come with both hourly and annual contract commit possibilities. 
As seen in the example, the Fortinet FortiGate product offers both annual contracts or hourly pricing, and it is up to the buyer to decide on which terms they want to use the product. Now that we have gone over the different types of products available in AWS Marketplace, let's go over the prerequisites for participation in a private offer. First, the ISV, also referred to as the partner, must have a paid listing in AWS Marketplace. Next, the ISV must have access to the AWS Marketplace Management Portal, or AMMP. Finally, the buyer must be an AWS customer. Now, let's take a deeper dive into the private offer operational process. First comes negotiation. This is when the buyer and partner negotiate custom pricing, terms, and the payment schedule. This step happens between the partner and the buyer independently, outside of AWS. Next comes offer customization. Once the buyer and partner have come to an agreement on the pricing, the payment schedule, and the terms, the ISV needs to create the offer. Previously, at this point, the partner had to manually enter information into a form for customization. Now, the partner can use the Seller Creates tool to create the offer using AMMP. The partner can do this step independently without being in touch with the AWS team through the platform. If you are a partner and you're not able to use the Seller Creates tool, please reach out to us. Next is Transaction. This is when a customer receives the offer link, reviews pricing and terms, and accepts the offer. With all private offers, customers view and accept the offer by logging into AWS Marketplace and navigating to the offer page for the product. To view the offer page, the customer can either use the link the partner provided that takes the buyer directly to the private offer, or the buyer can subscribe to the private offer by signing into AWS Marketplace and navigating to the product page for the product. During the subscription process, the buyer will see a banner at the top of the page showing the private offer, offer ID, and expiration for the offer. The last step of the process is invoicing and reporting. Once a customer accepts a private offer, they will either be invoiced immediately or at the end of the month, depending on the type of product they purchased. AWS is responsible for collecting the funds from the customer and will distribute to the ISV accordingly the ISV will receive reports for all accepted private offers. We are continually working on the seller reporting experience. ISVs with SNS notifications enabled will receive an automated email confirming the customer's subscription to their product for all product types. Also, AWS has launched offer acceptance email notifications, which allows ISVs to have real-time visibility into offer acceptance and subscription by buyers, allowing them to track the overall progress of an AWS Marketplace transaction. AWS has also launched Seller Data Feed Delivery Service, often referred to as SDDS, to enable ISVs to meet unique reporting and visualization needs and obtain business highlights daily. Now, let's look at where to create an offer. First, the ISV will log into the AWS Marketplace Management Portal. Next, the ISV will navigate and click the Offers tab. The ISV will be taken to the Offers dashboard. Next, the ISV will click the Create an Offer button to initiate the Private Offer Creation phase. Visit the AWS Marketplace Private Offer Operational Playlist or reach out for instructions on how to create specific types of private offers by product. Next, we're going to dive deeper into the transactional flow of the private offer process. Negotiation is when the buyer and partner negotiate custom pricing and terms. For example, if the list price for a product is $100 and the partner decides to give 20% discount to the customer, the discounted price to the customer will be $80. Transaction is when the customer subscribes to the private offer. Using our example, the customer receives a price of $80 via the private offer link, reviews the terms, and accepts the offer. And finally, we have invoicing and reporting. Using our example, AWS will charge the customer $80 and creates an itemized invoice accordingly. Please note, if the customer is in a region where a value-added tax or any other taxes are involved, these taxes are included on top of the customer price during the invoicing phase. 
If you have questions regarding value-added taxes or tax management, please reach out to us for more information or submit a case to customer service in your console. Now we'll focus on the end of the transactional flow of the AWS Marketplace Private Offers Program, Disbursement. Once the customer pays the AWS invoice, a disbursement cycle starts. Using our example, when the customer pays, AWS first takes out $80, the discounted price to the customer, to disperse to the ISV minus any applicable listing fees. In our example, we are using a 10% listing fee. That means that the net revenue to the ISV is $72. Now, let's take a look at the invoicing and reporting process. Once a customer has subscribed to a private offer, the invoicing and reporting phase starts. Here, we have an example of what a commercial invoice looks like for a private offer transaction. There are two sections, the summary and the detail section. The summary will display the total price to the customer, markup added on top of the wholesale cost, and any tax being collected. In the detail section, you can see the name of the product and the partner of record. The ISV will have access to reports for all accepted private offers throughout the process and will be sent a report automatically after a successful acceptance, whether invoicing has occurred or not. To see the reports, navigate to the Reports section of AMMP as seen on this slide. Next, we'll cover the timeline for AWS dispersing funds after a private offer transaction. AWS customers receive invoices on the third of the month. AWS Marketplace purchases are included on the customer's monthly AWS invoice, and AWS invoice net payment terms apply to purchases in AWS Marketplace. Buyer funds need to be posted to our system of record at time of disbursement in order to be included. It can take one to two days once a payment is received to be posted to our subledger. Now that we've gone through the transactional flow, invoicing and reporting, and disbursement cycles, here is a recap of product types supported by the Private Offers feature. For more information on data products, visit the AWS Data Exchange User Guide and check out the Providing Data Products on AWS Data Exchange section. Now, let's review what we just learned about the Private Offers process and cover some frequently asked questions. To recap, today we learned about AWS Marketplace Private Offers, the operational and transactional flow of private offers, and invoicing, reporting, and partner disbursement. Now let's go over some frequently asked questions. Question number one. What are the required permissions a partner needs to have in order to access AMP and start creating private offers? Answer. There are seven permissions that you can use in IAM policies for AMP. Visit the Policies and Permissions for AWS Marketplace Sellers link in the Seller Guide. Question number two. Is the private offer creation process the same for all types of products? Answer. While the process is the same as we covered earlier, the Seller Creates tool will behave differently based on the product the offer is being created for. For a detailed overview of the Seller Creates tool for each product, please refer to the private offer creation videos included in the AWS Marketplace Private Offers Operational Playlist. Question number three. Is the private offer creation process the same for all types of AWS Marketplace channel partners? Answer. No. The instruction given in this video is specific to ISVs. The channel partner version can be found on AWS Marketplace Private Offers Operational Playlist. Thank you. If you have any questions, please reach out to us. 